Charlie here, I'm back at Kings Over Royston today on our orchard course and I'm with PGA professional Darren Scholes. And today we're going to be going through different types of wedge shot selections you can use around the course. So let's check it out. So Darren, uh, we're out on the orchard course today. Mm -hmm. What's the first bit of movement and Thing you do when you're about to hit a wedge shot on the course? Well, when I'm in a wedge shot, I need to know the number, the exact number to the flag, and then I can make a, a positive decision about which one of my wedges I'm going to use. And to do that, I'm using my distance measuring device. This is critical for me to get those numbers right. So I'm going to just measure it right now. Perfect. That's great. So what was the number you just got, Darren, on the, on the old range finder? Well, to that blue flag, it's 68 yards. So that, that's a nice number for me. Yeah. Perfect. So what, what wedge and um, what type of wedge shot are you going to be going for? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to take my 56 degree wedge because I know that's like a three quarter distance. That's my 70 yard shot. So I'm going to commit to that shot, the three quarter 56 degree wedge. Perfect. Brilliant. So should we have a go? Yeah, let's do it. So right, to start this shot in my pre-shot routine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a little bit of a feel for that distance. And what I feel for me with this wedge is the correct distance. So I'm not really thinking about the technique now. I'm just focusing on the speed. So once I've got that, I'll line it up. Trust my field, and then hit the number. Here we go. Okay, now sometimes on this type of shot with your wedge shots, you can uh, influence the ball flight higher or lower than your neutral by just adjusting the ball position. So my neutral ball position playing this shot, once I'm lined up, is in the center. That's neutral, okay? But if I want to hit the ball lower, I'm going to push the ball back and lean the ball forward, which is going to decrease the loft as I hit the ball, giving me a lower trajectory. So that ball will be further back this way. And if I want to increase the initial launch, I'll push the ball forwards a little bit. Being careful not to get the hands too far behind because you still want to hit down on the ball. But the loft there that I'm presenting will be higher than if it was in the center or back in the stance. So for to, to, to change that trajectory, so to change the trajectory, experiment with those three different ball positions. Okay, so just a quick tip here for pitching guys, is when you're pitching, I want you to really focus on the shaft angle dynamically through impact. It's really important that for any wedge shot that you make sure that at the point of impact, that the shaft, is leaning forwards through impact. We never want to see you scooping the ball like this. So visualize the shaft as you're turning through, keep the shaft forwards through impact. Thanks Darren for that. That's a great little insight into a bit more of wedge shot selection on, and how to hit your wedges a bit more higher, a bit more lower, and a bit more consistent. So if you like our videos guys, please like and subscribe and there'll be a lot more videos coming soon.